uh, I'm by two things you've said tonight that prompt me to ask this question. Um, the first of which is that uh, when asked what some of your influences were, you cited a, uh, a Rebbe who told lots of old Jewish stories. And the other is that before you read the poem, you said, you know, I'm frequently asked what I believe, and I suppose this is it, in reference to a poem that was essentially a take on a fairy tale. Now, fairy tales, of course, um, as much as anything, recapitulate the human experience. And if you look at the different fairy tales across different cultures, are coming again and again to the same set of themes and even basic structures. Um, Jewish stories oftentimes do the same thing. Much of the work you've done, especially early on, was in was in comic books, which, as a medium, often go back and forth and repeat. To many of the same theme and variations. Um, your work in Sandman dealt with essential human theme and variations. Um, and it all comes you together. You're going to have to come to a question. <laughs> to <think. laughs> I can see them around you. You know, they're getting ready to eat. <laughs> and it all reminds me of a, a statement that Eugenie Inesco made that uh, I ask it my way. That uh, the, the that the purpose of art is to rediscover eternal truths in new forms rather than to discover new truths. Given all of that and the influence you cited, I'm wondering how much do you feel that your best work recapitulates um, the human experience? How much of it you feel is truly original in the sense of delving new ground and what do you feel is the most original thing you've done? I think it's exactly 80-20. <laughs> Recapitulation, the new stuff. I don't know. It's, the, uh, the trouble is, it, the artist is, in any field like this, is the worst person to talk about what they've done. Um, mostly what writers and artists and creative people tend to focus on with a sort of rather nervous desperation is the next thing. That's our job. Um, it's that next blank sheet of paper, it's the story that you've got coming up next, it's can you get something to work, it's what are you writing and what does it mean and how can you make it as different as possible from the last thing you did. And then the academics and the crit critics and the readers um, look at what you just did and point out how exactly similar <laughs> it is to everything else you've done and how it lines up and how actually, thematically, it's all part of one giant body of work. I used to think, I think the metaphor is that foxes know lots of little things and hedgehogs know one big thing. <laughs> and I used to think I was a fox. I used to think I knew lots and lots and lots of cool little things. Um, and the older I get and the more I look at the body of work I created, it seems to all be about the nature of story. And it seems to all be about the influence and the importance of story and what it is and why telling stories makes us human and what those stories mean. Um, obviously, I now plan to tell completely different stories because which don't have that theme because <laughs> I'm an artist and I'm terrified of repeating myself. <laughs> um, and just as obviously, I suspect, then I will continue to repeat that theme until I die. <laughs> um, while flailing desperately and hoping I'm not. <laughs> because that's also what we do when we write. <laughs>